Good morning friends. I hope everyone is doing well. I request everyone to watch my videos in a sequence for better understanding. In the earlier video, we have taken few regular expressions and found the equivalent regular grammar. Okay. Now we will discuss another few examples for better understanding. Okay. Now I should have our alphabets A comma B. Okay, our alphabets A comma B, it should have the strings who starts and ends with same symbol. Or let me make it starts with A, starts with A and ends with B. Make it simple. Then we will go for the next one. Ends with B. Okay, it should have all the strings start with A and ends with B. So what is the pattern? It should start with A. In between it can consist of anything and then it should end with B. So this is the regular expression for it. Now once you got the regular expression, okay, we can easily find the grammar. How can I find the grammar? First I need to identify the pattern. The pattern is C determines A or B. Okay. Now B determines C, B or Epsilon. So I got the pattern A union B closer. Now I got the B. Now A on small a or b or small b. So this is the grammar. How I got? First I identify what is the smallest pattern. The smallest pattern is a union b. So c determines a union b. Now b determines c or b or epsilon because I need to find the clean closer. Either it should be epsilon, I can get it or it should be c more than any once. So, okay, more than once or more than any number of times. So a union b clean closer. Once I got this pattern, the remaining thing is easy. I will take a A, which is a non-terminal, A on a small a terminal, B or B. So this is the grammar for generating all the strings which starts with A and ends with B. Now we will solve the next set of questions. Starts and ends with same symbol. Starts and ends with same symbol. What is the meaning? The smallest string possible is epsilon. It can be A or B because A also starts and ends with B. Or it can be if it starts with A, anything can be there. Or, a. or it can be of pattern B or A or B or B. So what I can say, the regular expression for it is A union B A concatenated whole concatenated with B concatenated with B or epsilon or A or B. So this is the regular expression for starts and ends with same symbol. Epsilon also starts and ends with same symbol. A also starts and ends with A, B also ends with A and B. Now, if it starts with A, it mean between anything can be there, at end it should be A. If it starts with B, it should end with B, between anything can be there. So, this is the regular expression for all the strings which starts and ends with same symbol. Now, I want to find the regular expression for it. How I can find the regular expression for it, we will see. Take the smallest pattern. The smallest pattern is A union B clean closer I want to find. How I can find? I will take some D. Okay. D on A and B I will do it. Okay. A union B I got. Now I want to get the clean closer of it. So C, D, C or epsilon. Okay. So it can able to generate epsilon or it can be able to generate A union B more than once or equal to once also. So this is what I got up to here I got. Then what I can say B should able to generate this one. What is this pattern? Small a C. Let me write capital C. You don't get confused if it is a capital C or small c. Don't remember like that if you have some people will say that if it is capital letters they are non-terminals. If it is small letters it is a terminals. Don't get confused like that. What are the symbols which are there in the left hand side? They all are the non-terminals. What are the symbols which are there in the right hand side but not there in the left hand side? 
they will be called as a terminal. So, A, C, A, R, B, C, A, okay. Let me erase this one, okay. B can determine A, C, A, so that I will get this one, B, C, B, C, A not, B, C, B, okay. B, capital C, B, capital C, B, okay, capital C is this one, okay, I could able to determine this one, R, A, R, B, R, Epsilon, is it clear, are you able to understand it or not, so I can able to find all the strings which belongs to this long way starts and ends with same symbol, okay, are you able to understand, if you want to find you can take a string and you can able to generate, if you are generating it, it is correct, otherwise it is wrong. What is the start symbol for this grammar? B is the start symbol. Okay. Now we will solve the next question. I think you know what is the next question. Starts and ends with different symbols. Am I right? Start and end with different symbol. Meaning is that if it starts with A, it should end with B. So, A, B or if it starts with B, it should end with A. So, this is the regular expression. Will it consist of epsilon? No, it will not consist of epsilon. Small A? No, it does not consist. B also it is not there. Minimum is A, B or B, A all these things. So, it will have minimum length is 2. Okay, so if it start with A, anything can be there and end with B. If it is starting with B, anything can be there and ends with A. Now, what is the smallest pattern? A union B clean closer. So, how I can find? I will take C. A union B, I will get. Now, A union B clean closer. How I will get B, C, B or Epsilon? Okay, it is not E. Okay, it is Epsilon. Okay, now I got up to here. Now the remaining thing is that I need to find A, small a, this pattern can be generated by B or B or this pattern can be generated by this one. So this is the regular grammar because it is a regular long way. So I am saying that it is a regular grammar. We have discussed various types of grammars, regular grammar, context free grammar, context sense to grammar, unrestricted grammar, all these things. This comes in the category of regular grammar. Why it is? As it is a regular long ways, I can say that it is a regular grammar. Okay. So, with these examples, I hope you have understood from a long ways or from a regular expression. See, I have taken a first long ways. I found the regular expression. Or if some people given directly regular expression also, you can find the grammar. If it is given a long ways, if it is a regular long ways, you can able to find the regular grammar. Okay. If you have any doubts with these videos or with these examples, you feel free to ask it in the comment section. I will clear your doubts in less than 24 hours. Thank you so much.